Way for the Tuesday morning edition of MagnaWave Office Hours coming to you today on LinkedIn, Facebook Live, YouTube, and Castbox. Uh, Castbox is a radio version. Chris will put the uh, link to Castbox if it works for you to listen more on the go. You can uh, follow that link. Go to Castbox and uh, visit us there. If you come through on Castbox, you can also call me on Castbox, and I can visit with you uh, on the phone, if you will, or live uh, discussion. Uh, you can do the same thing by calling 502-59 or texting 502-599-9722 and um, send me a text. I will call you back and we can have a conversation at that point or something new today uh, that we're trying for the first time is if I, if you're a friend of mine on Facebook and you have us on uh, Messenger, then you can uh, call me on Messenger and I'll be able to uh, talk with you on my portal device that I have here. So uh, uh, that's something interesting to try out. If somebody would like to try that, that would be great just for fun. Uh, certainly uh, someone who calls in that we have a conversation with, we will enter you into a drawing to receive a uh, gift bag of uh, MagnaWave gear, the new gear with the new logos and all of that. So we'd be happy to uh, uh, award one of those to someone who calls in today. So I had several things to talk about today, but I certainly want to uh, take your questions uh, that you may have um, with us this morning discussing any questions you may have. As you know, we're uh, right in the middle of the COVID-19 uh, lockdown pretty much nationwide, and it's uh, got a lot of people uh, uh, curious about their business, curious about what they um, want to do in the future or how to do it best in the future, and we are working uh, towards that uh, with our practitioners for programs to help them enhance their business, to continue their business. Uh, so there's a lot going on there with various programs to get machines to your customers uh, if you can't get to them. So uh, a lot of things happening there for the practitioners um, with regard to uh, business development. And certainly we're heading down those uh, roads as well. Perhaps uh, Chris and I might be able to discuss that uh, at some point today with regard to uh, marketing materials and how we want to help you uh, with your marketing as well. So with that, if you have any questions, uh, simply post them in the uh, um, in, in the various threads, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, uh, or CastBox, I will be able to uh, have a look at them and uh, answer your questions uh, as we go forward. I don't see anything. Good morning, Hazel. Thank you for being with me this morning. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 14, 15 people so far on Facebook. We got some folks joining us, several on the uh, CastBox uh, radio app, and uh, so we're moving forward. Um, and you know, this uh, and one of the things that we're working to do with COVID and uh, with the coronavirus is uh, we've talked to doctors in Mexico. There are doctors in the United States. And certainly, as you know, that inflammation plays a big role in this virus when it gets into the lungs and causes distress. And uh, one of the things that our device has been very beneficial with over the years is helping the body fight inflammation uh, uh, relieve inflammation. And, and so I'm not saying that that, that this is a cure or anything like that, I'm not saying that at all, but I am saying that that's kind of what we found in the past uh, with our device. And there have been doctors, uh, Dr. Um, Aguilera in, in Mexico, uh, during the, um, uh, H1N1, uh, uh, breakout in our pandemic or whatever it was in 2008, 2009, used PEMF uh, with his patients and, and didn't have anybody advance into the stage of pneumonia or, or congestion uh, like that. There's a quote uh, from the doctor on the screen. So we're working with some doctors around the country and, and certainly uh, anyone who knows someone, and I hate to even think that, that someone would know someone although we do, people who have uh, contracted the virus and are suffering from it, that maybe we can do some uh, ad hoc or, or uh, uh, anecdotal uh, studies, if you will, to see what kind of relief we can bring to some folks and, and may potentially help them with their medications uh, through uh, this type of situation that they're that they find themselves in. So uh, if you if you have someone that may be interested in that, let me know. 
um, reach out to us and we will certainly see what we can do in that regard to do some, uh, can't do a study, if you will, that would take too much time. Too many people would need to be involved, but we can certainly uh, work with some folks to see what kind of relief uh, that can be had. Uh, the doctor certainly in, in uh, Mexico talks about it. There are doctors in the United States that have talked about PEMF uh, to help with inflammation reduction. Uh, Dr. Pollock talks about it, talks about it takes, it takes upwards of 700 to 1,000 gauss, 500 to 700 gauss to uh, really uh, stimulate the, the, the oxygenation and then the blood flow of the body to be beneficial in those situations. And uh, so certainly that's uh, what we're looking at with some of our equipment is the higher gauss delivery to maybe give some uh, relief to the, to the body in that type situation. So again, if you have a question that you'd like for me to address, uh, simply put it in the uh, stream and I will take a look at it. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sandy. Carrie is with us this morning, as well as uh, several other folks who have joined us in the various uh, methods of uh, viewing the program. So uh, let's see, I do have a couple of things to talk about. You will be practitioners and those of you on, on our website will start seeing an additional product that we're adding to our uh, base of products. And I'll tell you why and how we came across this, uh, this particular product. Uh, it, uh, Dr. Randy brought it to us from California. I can't remember Dr. Randy's last name because he always goes by Dr. Randy. I've talked to him for the last several months, almost six months now as Dr. Randy. And uh, when he calls, he's Randy, he's Dr. Randy. And I, as I'm sitting here, can't think of his, his last name. But at any rate, uh, he, uh, this is his product. He built this product. Uh, he sells lasers and so forth, but he has this red light product. And I have one here with me. Uh, at home. And, and what's kind of neat about it, uh, the first product I, I worked with him on and, and we talked about using, uh, there's a, you know, the light diodes are in the, and this is not a laser, it is red and white light therapy um, that delivers energy to, to the body. Uh, but it, the diodes were exposed basically. And there's a little fan that keeps it cool because it gets very warm. And what would happen if you used it around uh, horses is that the, the hair and the, or the dog or the horse would, would get in it and mess it up and clog it up. Well, he says created a little, and you really can't see it, but there's a little uh, plexiglass or uh, piece of glass, the plastic glass on the front of it to seal it so it doesn't get the, it doesn't pick up the uh, the hair and the dust and the dirt from the particular animal that you may be working on. And that all, and it still leaves, allows it to be very beneficial uh, for human use. Now, folks over the years have used quite often as a complementary method to MagnaWave and PEMF to use light therapy or laser therapy or other types of devices. What we liked about this one, what I really liked about it is its strength, 12.5 uh, watts, if you will. And there's a watts or volts, I forget. Let's see, 12.5 watt. And um, to put a lot of energy into the area, it's very quick. So if you have this over a sore area, you only leave it on for a minute. If you're doing a horse now, you got to go through the hair or a dog uh, or a cat. You got to go through the hair of the animal. It could be longer. You might, tr you might treat an area for two or three minutes, maybe even longer uh, because of the hair, the heat and the light has to penetrate down through that. But on the, on a person, when you're going right on a joint area or even on, on an animal that it, their, their legs or something, there's not as much hair. You don't have to deal with as much. You get a very quick response. You use it for only a minute or so. And it's been used quite a bit. And a lot of our practitioners uh, are interested in this, not only for themselves, but for their clients in that you can take this particular apparatus and let's just, I'll just talk about it, how I first used it and noticed uh, a difference using even a weaker light than what the one that we have available is, was that you can, what it does if you're, if you're dealing with fat tissue and it does the same thing with, with uh, buildup of, of, fat or not fat, but build up around a wound or something like that. Let's just talk fat for a second. It takes the fat molecules uh, in your body, if you will, and shrinks them down to where they're like a, a raisin and very small, certainly. And then you take the MagnaWave on the area and it helps move those molecules to the lymphatic system out of the body, basically creating a loss of inches. If someone wants to use it as a weight loss or a weight or a body toning type of device and, and assuming that this is my midsection, what you would do is you'd put it on your body for a moment for a minute 
then you move it to the next session section for a minute and then you'd move it across your midsection, if you will, or love handles, wherever you want to do it for a minute. And you'd go across your body just like this. Now you could do it long ways as well, but you put it on and you do that and you go across. Then you take the magna wave, put it in the area again, help move uh, the things, the fat cells that have shrunken, shriveled up out of the body and away. And I noticed using the weaker light after only a week, I had a about a half inch reduction. I used it on just one side to, to make a comparison. And I, I noticed a reduction immediately. We have some folks in the office who have been anecdotally using this to uh, experiment and have had also some very pleasing results. So the red light therapy is very complimentary for inflammation reduction, uh, open wound healing, uh, those types of things uh, with the body that works in concert um, with the magna wave. And then as an added feature for those <clears throat> doctors or people who work with people that want to aid in uh, inch reduction or weight loss, potentially it's incredibly effective uh, for that. Dr. Randy, uh, Randy with a little different device has clinics around the country that are specifically designed uh, for that type of purpose. And I got this plugged in today. It's pretty bright when it comes on. This is my monster look. I was telling, talking to Chris about eh, earlier, but uh, it puts out a lot and you just simply uh, place it on your body like this. If you had the uh, uh, sore joints or something in your hand, you could do that for about a minute. It gets warm and, and you can feel it working uh, as, as it's going, but it'll, it'll do its job. And then you come back with the magna wave to help move the blood and oxygenate the area and bingo uh, can be very complimentary. There, the, the, the price on these is about $1,395, I believe. Uh, there'll be some special pricing for our practitioners uh, who are with us and, and uh, on board, but it, that's, that's what it, it, what's what it'll do and how it works. And it, it's pretty neat. It's been fun working with Dr. Randy. This is an FDA cleared device. Uh, so for those of you who are working with doctors and want to be able to maybe work in their clinics and with MagnaWave and, and a device, it is something that is FDA cleared that the, uh, um, the doctors can find attractive with regard to how they use it in their practice. So there's a lot of opportunity here with this uh, as an FDA cleared device to work in conjunction uh, with the MagnaWave. As you know, we move down those uh, roads as well. Um, towards FDA clearance. As you know, we have three uh, three different uh, 510K clearances that we've applied for, waiting for a response from the FDA, which could come uh, any day. Uh, as far as the CE, I don't know if John's with us this morning, but as far as the CE is concerned, uh, we do have scheduled uh, at this point in time in the factory in California, a, uh, an additional visit and factory uh, inspection to go through all of this at one time, the first uh, week of June. Uh, and so hopefully we can get all of that stuff resolved uh, at that time. As you know, they've they've inspected our factories, everything passed, it got caught up in the red tape. As you know, that the basic thing came down to people who already had CE certification in their factories around the country were fine. Those who had not had it in the past were put on a list and then they're, they're working down that list to come talk with them, see their factories again, do that whole process or go through that whole process. And that's going to take place in, uh, in the factory in June, for early June, as we understand it. So we're pretty excited about that from the standpoint of CE in Europe. And uh, certainly, hopefully we can uh, get things worked out to move forward. It, uh, we've already uh, with the factory in uh, California has already applied and working with Health Canada. Uh, Health Canada and CE are very similar, are similar, but they are different in that Health Canada stands on its own. And so you have to apply to Health Canada and, and that process is uh, moving along uh, very well as well. So if you'd like to talk with me, send me a text to 502-599-9722. Let me look here and make sure that uh, any if anyone's there this morning. Nope, everything is uh, quiet on that front. So if, um, if you have a question, simply put it in the box. Let's see here. Good morning. The red light FDA cleared for what specifically? Joanne, it's uh, that's a good question, Joanne. Um, it is FDA, let's see, he told me that last week. Um, I think the area that he's in, uh, I'll find that out. 
uh, specifically. Uh, when we talk <clears throat> the FDA clearance, if you look and you see there are a lot of codes that are available for light therapy that people use for uh, heat, uh, much like a heat lamp. That's where it is, is uh, he was FDA cleared initially to work like a heat lamp for uh, movement of blood, uh, comfort, uh, that whole type of thing. We understand the inflammation reduction and so forth available at the same time with those with that activity. So it is I think it was uh, FDA cleared a, as a heat lamp um, with light with red light. And as you know, a lot of different devices in the FDA, they pick categories that they fit in and how that applies to the various uses. Uh, but the fact that it did go through, it does have a 510K, it is FDA cleared, allows uh, people who need it or want to use it for insurance purposes uh, can certainly can certainly do that. And Joanne, uh, I think in, in your husband's practice and, and in the use to be able to look at the, the uh, inch reduction or whatever, or the, the additional healing uh, to the surgical aspect as MagnaWave can provide as well to help the blood flow could be something very interesting uh, to talk about and look at how it may, it may uh, work with that. Great question, Joanne. Thank you so much. Uh, Bridget's with us. Uh, Catherine's with us. Robin Day, hello. Uh, good morning. Let's see. Any other questions? Have any des des decisions been made about MagnaCon? Um, well, Donna, that's a great question. We have put May 1st as our time to uh, make a decision about MagnaCon. Um, I, I really can't, I don't want to just go out on a limb today and say something. Uh, a lot of things, obviously, we know are changing. Uh, we don't know at this point when they're going to really start allowing uh, or promoting people can go back to larger gatherings and, and so forth. Um, you know, it, it, we felt real good a month ago uh, when everybody, when the government and the various governors and the states felt that this would clear out in just a matter of weeks. Uh, now, certainly it is, we are noticing uh, in various areas in New York, uh, even in California, to some extent, the, uh, the numbers are dropping. And, and certainly in some areas of the country, for example, uh, Kentucky overall has, I think, 2,000 cases as of today, which is small compared or low compared to, uh, to some states. And, and it's, it's, there are hot spots um, that in, when you talk about areas that have it. So there, and as they talk about the rollout of allowing people to resume activity, uh, one of the things they're talking about is areas that are, and I'm going to use the word, um, uh, not as viral, if you will, or not as, that are cleaner or not having the problem. I, cleaner is not the right word, but uh, areas that have not seen as much that would allow people to return to normalcy uh, at a more uh, advanced rate because there's not as much there and people are following the the cleaning procedures and and that's the bottom line is is washing your hands cleaning utensils da 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 da, -da to how to approach this so uh, as I said a month ago we felt real good that everything would open up we as you know we uh, mentor with Dr Oz and we were to be this week. Uh, in New York with Dr. Oz uh, for a meeting and, and uh, showing him some new machines that we're working on and different things of that nature. And of course, that was pushed back to June, uh, right before MagnaCon, just a couple days before MagnaCon. And uh, so we don't know. We've been in contact with them as to what their plans are for the June meeting. And that is in New York. Our meeting, as you know, is in Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, and so we've not had nearly the uh, preponderance of cases as, as other places have experienced. So, uh, again, we'll make a decision uh, certainly by May the 1st. We, we will make a decision on, on May the 1st as to or let you know as to, to go forward or, or not. Um, uh, but things are kind of up in the air at this point. I hope that helps. I hope that answers um, your question. Great question. Thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. Seeing posts on all PMF group page about new machines for two attachments. Is this similar? What is seeing posts on all PMF group page about a new machine for two attachments? Is this similar to MagnaWave's new machine? They're being selective, secretive about the specs on it. Well, Felicia, I don't, I haven't looked at that, at some of those pages. Um, and, and I know that, that uh, we have a machine that allows for two attachments. 
um, in our line. Uh, we have other machines. The uh, Maya Dual has two attachments that can be used at the same time, and we have that available today. Uh, we're working on some other devices. The uh, um, Pulse Pro folks uh, are working on a device that allows for two attachments and um, so forth. So th those are coming. Those are people, we have them available currently. There may be some companies that are talking about bringing that to the market for themselves. And um, so I just, um, that's, that's all I know about that at this point. Great question. Um, and, you know, people are only secretive about those types of things because they don't want, they try to protect their, their market space and, and so forth. And uh, as to when they're going to release machines because they want to keep things moving until they have their machines ready to, uh, um, to be cleared. All right, let's see. Uh, Brittany asks, I've seen a post about MagnaWave helping mare fertility rates. I was wondering if you'd be able to discuss how MagnaWave might be able to help fertility rates in mares that tend to have a hard time uh, conceiving and carrying full to term. Uh, how do you treat them and how often and so on? Well, certainly uh, years ago, we worked with a um, fertility expert, an equine for fertility expert in uh, Ocala. And uh, she was working, the doctor was working with um, treating the area over the ovaries, uh, treating the uh, area of the, um, just the body in general to help it be healthier, to have good, healthy oxygen, the, the whole basis uh, of what we do. And can it help uh, the mare to conceive if everything is, doesn't have any blockage, doesn't everything is getting the best blood flows possible, the best oxygenation to the area of fertilization and to keep it healthy. And, and so that's basically the routine. There are some specifics that we can probably get into in more detail to talk to Aaron about what people have done and how they've, they've approached it. We have seen, there are anecdotal uh, comments out there about women who have been having trouble uh, achieve um, uh, pregnancy and so forth who use this type of device uh, on their body and use it regularly that they've seen some very promising results. So there's no reason, uh, I was talking with a gentleman the other day, there's no reason if something works on a dog or a cat or a horse or a person, we all have the same type of body. We all have blood. We all need oxygen. We all have similar organs. And so if something works on a horse in this manner and that, that will work on a small animal and could variably be beneficial to a, to a human. There are a lot of people who are talking about studies and working on various uh, studies to explore these particular areas. But there have been some anecdotal uh, responses uh, from the human world and the animal world that to keep the area uh, uh, as viable as possible. And I would simply treat the area uh, um, but prior to ovulation, you know, and, and uh, accordingly, talk to your vet. What's the issue there may be there? Talk to your vet about what this does and certainly work with your vet, vet to see if this can uh, prove beneficial or certainly worth trying uh, on your particular animal that you're dealing with. And uh, there's a lot of stuff out there that could be beneficial and certainly worth uh, discussion. Um, great deal. Thank you. I hope that helps, Brittany. Uh, hi, Cindy. Nice uh, for you to be with. Hi, John. We are trying to stay well. We are in lockdown. As you know, uh, my wife and I were in Florida doing some work with some of the professional baseball teams and some uh, uh, horse people certainly in Wellington uh, and around the area and kind of got stuck when all this uh, flamed up or reared, up, reared its head in, in uh, March. Uh, we, Florida went on a, a semi lockdown. We were just kind of there. And so we, we hung tight for a while. Uh, but last week we made the decision that uh, uh, the, the number of cases in Florida were much higher. There were some areas where hospital beds were not available. Unfortunately for me and, and Debbie Dee were right in that area that they say, be careful. And uh, so it, the decision we had was stay here. And if something happens, we were in a kind of a closed area. Nobody was infected. Nobody had any problems uh, with our neighbor. Rest was parked. And uh, so that was, that was fine. But, you know, you didn't want to find yourself in a position that you became ill and had no place to go or being not where your home doctor is. So we made a decision to come home. So we got back last Monday and uh, certainly we've agreed to and gone into a 14 day uh, 
quarantine here in Kentucky. And so that's where we are now. Today is Tuesday. So we got about another five days or so to go um, to be free of that. But we're still not going to go out if you, at this point until we understand uh, what's going on. Great question, John, but we are working to stay well. Uh, Mariah asked the question, so red light therapy could help reduce itching, just surgical, or could the help systematic itching related to uh, mastocytosis? Um, well, it, it's going to help if you can improve blood flow and get rid of the inflammation in the area. A lot of times inflammation adds to the itching, itching that could be caused. So in concert uh, with MagnaWave, MagnaWave will do all of that stuff as well. But in, the, in the some case, if you wanted to really focus on one little area with the MagnaWave and the like, it could be very beneficial uh, for that. Not, not just surgical, although it is very beneficial for as MagnaWave is as well. And again, in concert, uh, the two of them together can uh, be very beneficial for uh, post-surgical healing or helping the healing process and uh, reduction of scarring potentially uh, could be realized with the combination of the two. The MagnaWave, as you know, we've talked about MagnaWave for years being used to help reduce scarring, help keep proud flesh down in, in horses and so forth. So, uh, um, so it, it can re re potentially reduce uh, it, uh, itching in many different uh, situations in conjunction with the MagnaWave. Hello, Carly. Thank you for being with, me, with us. Um, I receive a treatment whenever I can meet my practitioner, but it's not consistent enough. Yeah, I understand, Larry. I mean, a lot of folks have situations that, that they need to treat regularly. And so uh, hooking up with a practitioner to call your practitioner. We're working on ways to work with your practitioners. If you're not close by to uh, there are some solutions that we're bringing to the table to help uh, those types of situations. So your practitioner may have some uh, variables uh, available to you, uh, which we're rolling out this next week if they're participating in the program. So uh, uh, contact your practitioner and see what may be available. Uh, if you want to be in a situation that maybe you want to rent a machine for yourself for a short period of time or for a period of time to decide if it's for you to have, uh, go call your practitioner and they can help facilitate that uh, for you as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tim, we're glad to be here. Uh, thanks for being, uh, being on this morning. Uh, good morning, Tim. Uh, Larry, again, my point is how often could I treat myself if I purchased or rented my own unit? I treat for back and hip pain. If I treated myself consistently, could it get to the point where I don't need so much? The answer to that is yes. Uh, in most instances, uh, if people have chronic type situations, the more you treat yourself, number one, the longer it lasts. And the more you're able to treat yourself, the more you can get ahead of a particular problem to where it diminishes to the point that you don't need to treat as often. And, and so all of that is, is, is correct, Larry. If you, if you have a chronic situation uh, that is there, that or maybe it's anatomical, it comes as soon as you get your treatment, you have relief for a period of time, and then it starts to come back, but yet you can't get to the practitioner. That's a perfect situation to contact your practitioner, uh, inquire with them about uh, getting a machine to rent or to uh, purchase whatever your desires may be, but go to your practitioner uh, and they can hook you up and, and go through that uh, particular process with you. And, uh, but that is the answer. The more you use it, uh, the longer the results will last and you could get to the point that you do, don't have to do it as often. My wife and I've often talked about this. It's how we basically got into this uh, business was with her herniated discs and back problem. And uh, she needed treatments two or three times a week in the beginning. We treated her daily. And after a period of time, it took a good while. Uh, we treated her for 30 days, uh, 30 days and stopped. She got two weeks worth of relief, 30 more days, two weeks worth of, or four weeks worth of relief, 30 more days, four weeks worth of relief. Now, today, it's almost 15 years later, uh, she treats herself two or three times every two or three weeks, and she's good for that period of time. So it, it's just very beneficial. Now we'll use it for other stuff. She'll do, do other things, but, uh, so that's, that gives you an idea. So reach out to your practitioner and, and, uh, they can help hopefully get you some questions or call the office and they'll help you out as well. But, uh, contact your practitioner for that type of thing. I also have a question. This is from Brittany about joint navel, joint illness, navel illness in foals. Oh, okay. Has anyone found success using MagnaWave to treat the foal if caught fairly early? 
uh, we've had several instances where foals have had issues um, at birth or have issues at post-birth and uh, being able to, again, relieve inflammation, to improve blood oxygenation in the body, which helps the healing process progress and with, certainly with veterinary supervision uh, and to improve blood flow. A lot of times those types of situations uh, can be aided. Certainly talk with your veterinarian about utilizing this in conjunction with that. And uh, certainly there's no reason if, if that you may not see some uh, good results uh, in those types of uh, situations or dealing with those uh, types of uh, indications, if you will. Um, let's see, Dawn asks, when is the red light going to be available for purchase? Uh, my understanding, and Chris could probably uh, put this in the box, it is available now. I don't know that it's on the website today, uh, but it is available. It will be on the website. There will be uh, uh, emails uh, going out uh, to the practitioners and uh, that it is that it is available as an added feature. One of the things that, that we want to do, and I can go back and talk about my history uh, going back to 2001 when I first got into this business and then 2009 during the financial collapse and, and um, in the country as to how we dealt with it and how we uh, survived, if you will, those particular very serious situations. It's, you know, uh, this is different. Um, it, it's the same, but it's different in that it's everywhere and it's really uh, serving to cripple things. However, people still want to feel good. They still want to take care of their back pain. They, your, your animals still need to be uh, cared for. And if you can do things to help control your expenses and keep your animals healthy, that's a good thing. And, and uh, that's what we want to be able to do. So we're certainly making strides for our practitioners and our doctor partners and so forth to be able to help them have additional processes potentially available to them if they address the integrative methods of and the holistic methods of, uh, of, of healthcare, um, then we want to certainly make this available. And, and that's becoming uh, larger all the time. So we're working with, as you know, the, the C60 now has some animal supplements. Some people have seen some very good results utilizing the C60 animal supplements. Uh, I was talking with Elaine last week before we came back to Kentucky and uh, she's ordered some of that. There are some great testimonials. We want to make this available to our practitioners and their customers and to our customers to uh, for the health and wellness uh, of their animals. Over the years, additional supplements were very beneficial to me in the beginning, not to me but to me personally, but to to our business. And so we're working with various aspects to uh, help you as practitioners, help our salespeople as being able to help people in their businesses, have products that that can be uh, beneficial uh, to their to their marketplace. We're, we're very fortunate that we're positioned well. Uh, we've got a lot of practitioners. We've got a lot of people interested. A lot of people have seen great results with our types of of uh, devices and we want to help them uh, be well and head into good wellness in the future. And so it, it's our intention to to support our, our company and our practitioners to uh, promote the health and wellness uh, of everybody around. And, and uh, we're working very hard in that regard and we're going to provide any types of products or any things we can do to help you and uh, to move that along. I uh, hope that helps. Good morning, Kathy. Any other questions, simply post them in the um, in the Facebook or LinkedIn, YouTube, put it in there and I'll have a look at it and be able to uh, hopefully provide an answer for you. If you'd like to talk with me, send me a text to 502-599-9722 and I will be, uh, I will get, uh, be able to, yeah, 502-599-9722. I will call you back. We can have a conversation and uh, answer any questions that you may have, regardless of what they pertain to, the machines, um, supplements, uh, whatever be available uh, for you, we certainly want to uh, go down that road. Um, so let's see, any other questions here that I've got? Give me a call. If you'd like to talk to me on uh, Messenger, give me a call on Messenger. If someone would give that a shot, I'd love to see how that'll work this morning. Uh, using Messenger to call me on my portal and uh, we'll see how that works. Um, well, stay as long as I have questions. 
uh, it's 20 till already time, time flies when you're having a good, a good discussion. Uh, certainly, uh, if you'd like to uh, visit with me, connect on LinkedIn and uh, we'll be uh, working on some things there to help you build your business as well, to give you some direction. I, I've been working on that and uh, I've been closely working closely with Max uh, to perfect some of that stuff, to begin to share with the practitioners as a good way to help them develop their uh, customer base and move forward uh, in that way as well. Uh, if you need questions, uh, be sure to call the office. The number is 833-MAGNA-WAVE. Uh, if you'd like to uh, discuss something with uh, Aaron or Teresa in our training department with questions that you may have specifically uh, about various guidelines with using MagnaWave on people, small animals, uh, or, or whatever the situation may be, be sure to uh, call the office uh, with any of those uh, types of questions. We'd be more than happy to uh, to do that and to share any, any information we can. Let's see, I don't see any other questions. Uh, let me check Restream here quickly again. Come back over here. Um, let's see, uh, Mareki is with us. Thank you for joining us um, and having a conversation with us this morning. I don't see any other questions. If, if you do have some questions, again, I'd be more than happy uh, to address them. If you'd like to talk with me, call me on uh, Messenger or send me a text and I will call you back, 502-599-9722 to discuss whatever it may be. I know it's probably a tough time, uh, but there's a lot of questions that people still have and uh, about various uh, applications, how PEMF can be applied to their daily health and wellness and certainly to the health and wellness of, their, of your animals and your customers uh, animals as well. Uh, so let's see if there's any, are there any questions, Chris, that you're seeing that I may have missed? Uh, does it look, does it look okay? I don't want to uh, just, I, I, I don't banter as well as I like to, uh, and I just don't want to just uh, keep talking. I think I've covered, oh no, one area, one area. Uh, do you want to talk about, uh, Chris is taking pictures this morning, but we have a new uh, coil cover system. Uh, that uh, we just received that we've talked about them. You've heard Elaine talk about them. I want to tell you about that. Elaine's uh, webinar coming up this week as well. Uh, but we have new coil, coil covers uh, for all the coils, the, the wave wings, the um, large loop, the butterfly, the paddle. Uh, these are covers that cover everything from your machine to the uh, coil portion of your covers. And uh, they're washable. They're antimicrobial. So it's just, it's a good way if you're treating animals and people to use the covers when you're treating animals and then uh, remove the covers and use your coils uh, with people, clean your covers, put them back on. Uh, you don't put them in a washing machine, you clean them in some soap and water and rinse them out and uh, hang them to quickly dry and uh, reuse them. Um, and they will be available this week as well. Uh, or probably next week, first of next week, they will be uh, available to practitioners and to folks who have machines that would like to use use the covers. It's, it's a pretty slick idea. It's uh, Cameron, our sales director, uh, kind of came up with the idea and uh, pursued it and put the product together. Uh, we have them for the mat the, and all the coils. And so it's just, it's a good way, you know, in this new day and age of, of keeping things clean and cleanliness, uh, and you do, if you do treat animals and people, people may be uh, skeptical of that. And, and as far as cleanliness is concerned, so to use the covers, uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, to use them, clean them, reuse them, and to, uh, as I said, they're antimicrobial. Also, as you know, the coils themselves are made of surgical antimicrobial tubing. So if you uh, keep them clean, they stay clean and they're reusable, certainly usable in that type situation. So the coil covers are coming. Stay tuned for that. They'll be shown certainly on the uh, Facebook page and on the website uh, and various places. So we're excited about the, the coil covers as well that are uh, on the way. They're in-house. Uh, we just have to get everything finalized and finished up to launch that. This Friday, two o'clock, I believe, no, Friday at four o'clock, uh, Dr. Amanda Myers will be online in a webinar with Elaine, uh, again, talking about the medical aspect and uh, wh what she's doing, how she's seen um, uh, things utilized. And we were trying to have a, uh, a webinar with her on Friday, but uh, as you know, uh, she spends a lot of time with us in her practice as our medical director. But in this crisis, she's an emergency room physician, and so she is working 
constantly uh, in the emergency rooms. Uh, and I, I believe she's in Tampa, Florida at this point working, uh, helping support emergency rooms uh, when they need it. And uh, so that's where she's at. But she will be with Elaine on Friday afternoon. So if you have questions for Dr. Amanda, uh, send a question to Elaine, Paul, uh, Elaine at MagnaWave PEMF, and uh, she'll be happy to address those questions with Dr. Amanda when she's with her on Friday. And so that should be good. She did a webinar with her a couple of weeks ago, talking again about how the PEMF works to aid and, and keep someone health who, healthy so they don't potentially get the virus, or if they do, how it can help fight uh, the virus and assist the medications that, that the doctors are using. So uh, Dr. Amanda can, can address that, and I'm sure she'll get into it again on Friday. So if you'd like to uh, see that, be sure to mark your calendars, four o'clock Friday, Facebook Live. Uh, Dr. Amanda and Elaine will be available. I think I will be there as well at this point to uh, just join in the conversation. Uh, so that's Friday with Dr. Amanda Myers, Elaine, and myself in a webinar on Facebook and the other areas that we we cover. Well, I wish somebody would have called me on uh, Messenger or something just to see if that would, you know, how that would work out for audio wise and so forth, but that's okay. Uh, a lot of times people don't want to talk, they want to listen. <laughs> and I understand. Uh, I'm just glad to, to be here. I'm glad we're all healthy. Uh, I'm glad that, uh, you know, we're working, uh, all of our staff members are, are uh, working from home. Uh, they do go into the office as they need to. Oh, someone has asked to join. Let's see what we get here. Call in. Okay. Waiting. Let's see what we get. Answer. Connected. Hello. Good morning. Do I have somebody with me? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? I can. So how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Did you have a question? I'm doing very well. So what is, what is the purpose of this group? And uh, yes, I'm asking about the purpose of this group. Well, the purpose of this group is to talk about health and wellness and talk about the health and wellness utilizing the various devices, pulse electromagnetic yeah, devices. What, what are you talking about? We're talking about pulse electromagnetic therapy in our, in our devices and how they can be used for health and wellness. All right, that's interesting. Good. I'm glad you uh, listened in this morning. Right. And, gave, Very yeah. well. and how many people are here talking? Uh, I don't know how many people. Looks like there's... Uh, uh, probably 15 or so on uh, CastBox, and then the, my numbers on uh, are not showing up on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, but typically we get up to the neighborhood of 50 or 60 folks uh, listening at any one time. <laughs> so, um, so where are you from? We're in Kentucky. United States. United States. Where are you from? I am from Algeria. Algeria. Great. <laughs> That's a long way uh, from us, but uh, we have devices all <laughs> over the world and uh, we're certainly glad. Did you have a specific question for me? We need to uh, move on if you do or don't. Um, actually, uh, I don't know if my question is related to the, I mean, to the group discussion. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, I'm having, I'm having a problem. I went to the doctor two days ago. Uh -huh. I'm having problem, like a muscular muscular problem, like in, in my muscle, which is in, like uh, below my belly, that when I move my leg, I am hurt there. And like, it has never happened to me. And it seems to be very weird. Nobody has this in the family. And the doctor says it's normal. And I'm wondering why, why, I am just taking this amount of time, like if it is just muscular, why I am more than one month waiting for the recovery, which has never come. What do you, uh, what I are like you? I play soccer. I like to, to exercise at home. Right. What yeah. are you, what are you doing for it now? What are you using now? You're using a topical cream. You're taking I, any. No. Um, the doctor gave me some medication. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm having them since two days. And uh, some of uh, a Canadian friend who is really, really like uh, experienced person told me that I have to like uh, to gently 
like massage the place. I did, but it didn't work. Uh, the last thing which I want to um, experience before going back to the doctor, if the, if the, if the pain is still there, which is uh, having uh, the place um, like massaged with hot water. So what is your suggestions? Well, my suggestion, certainly with our type of devices that we have, I would look, uh, look online uh, in your community. We, there are these types of machines all over the world. I can't tell you if we have a machine in Algeria, uh, but we have, there are devices all over the world. You want to look for the PEMF uh, is what you want to look for. P is in Paul, E is in Edward, M is in Mark, F is in Frank is the type of therapy that we have. And what we would do if you were here in America, one of our practitioners, is we would treat your abdomen and your leg to help get the inflammation relieved so it could better heal itself more rapidly. That's, is what, that's what we would recommend and uh, what we would have you do. Uh, there are some devices that are on the market that are easily, uh, and, and we might have them, we're working to have some of those lower cost devices as well that people could use very topically and locally like that. Um, but I would, I would look online for PEMF. There may be a doctor in your area that has it. It's non-invasive, it's not painful, and it, but it's very quick to help relieve your type of situation. Okay, doc. Are you there? Well, it looks like we lost him, but that is the solution. Thank you very much for calling if you're still there and I appreciate you coming in through Castbox. Have a great day. Um, so there we go. We got a call in on on uh, Castbox this morning um, and from Algeria. Uh, asking the question, and, and that just kind of goes to what we've talked about. To to the the therapy around the world is much more uh, ex, not I want to say accepted, but in in many countries, PEMF therapy is more of a mainline accepted type of therapy. Whereas in the United States, it, we're we're reestablishing ourselves. We've been through this before. Back in the in the 1800s, uh, the AMA removed massage and acupuncture, electro medicine. PEMF uh, from the main practice of medicine. And so it, we've had to kind of reestablish and, and grow in that type of uh, situation. We have someone else. Let's see if, let's see who this might be. Good morning. It's Pat Zima. Hello, sir. Yes. I was talking to you. I don't know what happened. Oh, well, we got lost. So that's my recommendation. See if you got PEMF in your area. Mm-hmm. Research that on Google or what you use as your search engine and look for PEMF and see if there's a doctor or a clinic in your area that has a device. You might find it very beneficial. I certainly will do that. Okay. Thank you for calling. Thank you very much. You're Sorry. welcome. Have, Have a great have day. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So we, we, we lost him and he came back. That's great from Algeria. So um, there you go. Uh, always interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you have any additional questions, I put them in there. Let me check my restream here quickly. Um, ooh. I tried to call on Messenger, but needed to up my eye. Uh oh, here we go. Christopher's with us. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. How are you doing? Doing good. We're just testing the audio this morning. I just wanted to uh, make sure everything worked, but also, uh, you know, um, just let people know, practitioners know. Our social media manager, Emily, is taking this time to create video tutorials on how to handle uh, social media accounts. And um, if anyone had any questions on that, uh, let us know as well in the practitioner group, and we can make those. Great. So if someone has questions about their social media, they can, uh, uh, should they contact the office or should they? Marketing at MWPEMF.com. Marketing at MWPEMF.com. And um, there's the email address and uh, uh, she will get back to you. Uh, Emily will get back to you and help you out if you have any questions or answer any questions you may have about the best way to use your social media to uh, keep your business going strong. Is that correct? Yep. And also check the uh, practitioner group for uh, videos uh, every every couple of days. And again, as you, and I'm, I presume you heard Chris, check your practitioner uh, portal for new videos on uh, assistance and things that we're doing. Chris, thank you so much.
Thanks, Matt. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. So um, I presume you could hear that all right. Um, that's cool. So uh, he, Chris came in on Messenger. Um, let's see, Chris, let's see, did Elaine and Dr. Marriage do great webinars? Thanks for that support. Great, thank you. Certainly, uh, Maureen, you'll be on the call on Friday, I presume, or on the webinar. Uh, excited about covers. I'll be, I'd be more concerned about keeping the coils clean after using them on people before using them on animals. Just kidding, sort of. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> uh, but certainly uh, in this day, I was reading the other day and talking with someone in this day and age, uh, how things are going to change uh, with people with regard to uh, going into public, how they interact in, in stores and around other folks. And, and the thing is prevalent that I keep reading until there's a vaccine. And uh, certainly that's one of the fears is, are we going to get over this now when the weather warms around the country and the flu season typically would end and things turn back to normal, but can it, will it resurge in the fall? Will it continue in various areas uh, through the summer? Um, so uh, Mac Knightley says he can't hear me. I'm sorry, Mac, I don't know. Uh, can you hear me? Um, let's see, other folks on CastBox um, that are with us. Um, I don't know, Mac, we'll have to check that out and see if you can hear us. But it's going to be very interesting to see how people go back into the uh, workplace and and uh, didn't work out. So uh, needed to update your iPad. Marine tried to call, call on Messenger. Yep, update your iPad and we'll do that again. Um, it's snowing in Dalhart, Texas. Whoa, Alan uh, shares with me. Uh, Jamie is with us. Good morning. Uh, Hazel says she hears me. Thank you, Hazel, for uh, let, letting us know that it's working. I used to do my pod on this app so you can follow me also. Okay, Priya is the name. Uh, wow, it's been kind of interesting. I know that Chris has a meeting that he has to go to uh, in a few minutes. <clears throat> so we'll be wrapping up here in just a couple of minutes. If you have a question, uh, simply put it in the, uh, and I've got, we got about three minutes here before we have to go. So I'd be happy to uh, answer any question that you may have. Good morning, Amanda. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you for the folks that uh, called us from uh, on the um, CastBox app. Uh, we're excited about using that as well to uh, broadcast and, and uh, talk with people. When we first started on on uh, CastBox, we had one or two people. Hazel's been with us from the very beginning on CastBox, and uh, but it's uh, those numbers are increasing weekly uh, in the radio type of format. The uh, certainly the uh, messenger app worked this morning, so if you want to use that as a way to talk and uh, visit, that'll be great. Uh, in the future. Looking to see if there's any other question that we may have. Uh, here, the office, if you have questions about marketing or about uh, various guidelines, call the office at 833-MAGNAWAVE. We will, uh, uh, Riley will get, put you in touch with the people that you need to talk to, whether that's Chris, Emily, Aaron, Teresa, me, whoever it may be that you want to talk to. Uh, we are certainly here, Elaine or whomever, we are Cameron in our sales department, Cameron and all of our great staff of people, our product uh, specialists would be happy to help you in any way they can to uh, for your health and wellness as we go forward in this, in this time. So we're about out of time. I wanna thank you for being with you. Uh, it's been fun uh, as it always is. I always enjoy coming together and, and trying to uh, help you. It's, it's a passion of mine to help everyone's health and wellness uh, going forward. So stay well, social distance, wear your mask, certainly wear your gloves as you go out. I've been amazed to go into a store and there's people walking around uh, without any protection. I went to a store the other day, waited for my stuff to be delivered and, uh, uh, and I, I'm not picking people out, but a, a very, a young couple with a child, uh, no mask, no hand covers uh, with an, with an infant walked in and walked around the store like there was nothing going on. And that just amazes me uh, that that happens and, and that goes on. But anyway, thank you for being with me. I certainly appreciate it. We'll be back next Tuesday and uh, with more MagnaWave office hours. Again, the covers are coming, the red lights are available. Uh, so we want to, and other stuff's coming down the, uh, down the uh, channel to uh, help you build your business and to help those of you who work with us stay healthy and, and happy during these times. Have a great day. I love you all and uh, wave on to health and wellness. See you later. Bye-bye.